Navigate to Charge Fox Shell Cove. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Nash from Tesla in the Gong. I've been meaning to do this review of the Shell Cove Ultra Rapid Charger by Charge Fox for a very long time. It has been out of commission for a very long time, and finally, it is now back online. And I thought this is the best time to do a review of this Ultra Rapid Charger. My charge right now is 15% in my long range 2021 Fremont Model 3. We're going to go to the Shellco Ultra Rapid Charger and see what is the rate of charge we're able to get. The magic number is 192 kilowatts set by Tom Crisfeed, my good mate from Phantom Lane 4. This is Australian EV podcast going live on Phantom Lane 4 YouTube channel every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Uh, now, if you get lost coming into the Shell Co. What you need to do is to get into the basement of Woolworths. So you need to go here. So you can see Woolworths on the left. And you need to get to the basement car park. And that is where the two ultra rapid DC fast chargers by Charge Fox are situated. Oh, they are a glorious sight. These are tritium. 350 kilowatts ultra rapid DC fast chargers. First up, one needs to plug in. For the Model 3, we will be using the CCS2 plug. Now, if you have a Model X or a Model S, you may need a firmware upgrade for your port if it's a pre Raven model and you will need a CCS2 adapter from Tesla. So, do watch another video that I have in the description for details of the same. Now, once you plug in, the light will still remain dark blue and then you need to fire up the Charge Fox app. And once in the app, you click on your location and that will pull up the chargers that are present. It will show you which chargers are empty and in my case, I connected my car to 4513 port D and when I click on start, I'm ready to charge. A small pro tip here, if you are an NRMA member, please add your membership details to the app prior to charging because that will give you a 20% discount. Now one more pro tip, 4G network in the basement is not great. Like me, if you're using Optus, there was just no 4G network at all and without a 4G connection, the app will not work and you can't start the charger. So all you need to do is walk back up the ramp and from there you can fire up the app. It is one more thing that you need to remember when you're here. Now let's see what is the maximum power we can reach on this charger and I did come at a low stage of charge of 15% to test this on my Model 3. And we know that at a low state of charge, the batteries would be able to accept a higher power, but only briefly though, and we'll see that in this test as well. As soon as I hit on the start button, I saw the dial zoom and it was really impressive. I was able to reach about 189 to 190 kilowatts right away, and I believe my previous best was 187 kilowatts and I have a separate video on that as well. Now for this 189 kilowatts, I got about 1300 plus kilometers per hour, and it's quite simply brilliant and then i broke through into the elusive 190 kilowatts club Woohoo! although it was just for a brief period at 190 kilowatts it still made me super happy i felt like the king of the world anyway as the state of charge increased the max power did start to dwindle down but even so at 150 kilowatts the car was still accepting over 1000 kilometers per hour worth of charge at about 50 percent the car was still accepting about 850 kilometers per hour worth of charge. And as we were expecting some storm here in the gong, I decided to stop at 50%. Now, let's look at some more numbers. As you can see here, I spent all of 12 minutes charging to bring my car from 15% to 52% state of charge, consuming 30.10 kilowatt hours of energy. And this charge session costed me $12.04 and as I am an NRMA member, I get a discount of $2.41 bringing the grand total to just $9.63 for this charge session. Isn't this simply awesome? Now many a time we get asked this question, don't we? 
how long does it take to charge your car? So I have made separate videos of how long it does take to charge your Model 3 in a Tesla supercharger and now in these third party 350 kilowatt ultra rapid chargers. I'll also be making more videos on other DC charger stations like 50 kilowatts and perhaps a 75 kilowatts as well. So do click on that subscribe button and also smash that bell icon to get notifications of my videos as soon as they drop. All right guys, here we are. Briefly, I saw 190. You probably saw that in the video as well. Briefly, very briefly, just for a flash and then it went away. But still, 1,300 kilometers per hour. It is brilliant. The number still to beat is Tom's 190 kilowatts, which he has a proof of. And I think Morris has 197 in one of his videos. That's brilliant. I'm going to tag these guys here as well in this video. We'll see. We shall beat them someday. Fine guys, this is a CCS2 adapter. So here we have a Model S which does not have a CCS2 plug. Unfortunately, this is a CCS2 plug. So all you have to do is use this adapter. You plug this in and this converts your CCS2 into a Type 2 plug. And this you can plug into your Model S and Model X. So you can see that this one goes right in as the Model X and Model S do not have it. CCS2 plug there. That latches and we're ready to charge. Let's fire up the charge box app again. We are in port B of station 4513. We click on start and then obviously the car starts charging. Because we came in at a higher state of charge of about 69%, I was only able to get 34 to 35 kilowatts. Okay, now that we've finished charging, all you have to do is unlock from the uh, front dash and then all you have to do is pull out and then you pull this off and then you return this back to the cable that is the port. CCS2 converter, this is what I was talking about in the earlier part of this video. I have another full video showing you how to get this uh, installed in your car. You have to go to Tesla to do this for your Model X and Model S. If it's pre raven you need a um, firmware update as well, but with your post raven cars, you just need to buy this. So you're all good to go. Now let's see what this session cost me and I'm going to show you a different part of the ChargeFox app for this one. Click on menu and click on charge history and then you can know what you've been charged for this particular session and all the previous sessions that you've charged at any of the ChargeFox stations elsewhere in Australia. I have charged here for 22 minutes consuming 10.75 kilowatt hours of energy and because I came at a higher state of charge, I have charged for a longer period of time consuming lower energy and that is the beauty of these Tesla systems because they want to increase the battery's longevity. They go from 0 to 80% at a much faster rate of charge and then it dwindles down and becomes much slower. You could have seen this in my previous videos as well. Now this session costed me $4.30 and with an NRMA discount of $0.86 cents, my grand total is $3.44 for 10.75 kilowatt hours of energy. Not too bad hey. Now before we go, a quick word about the Waterfront Town Centre where these Charge Fox Ultra Rapid DC Fast Chargers are present. It's a nice place to socialise and as you saw before, there's Woolworth Supermarket and a BWS. There's also an ice creamery, a couple of cafes, an artisan bakery, a dentist and a barber. And very soon, not far from here, in the Harborside Dining Precinct and the Waterfront Tavern, more cafes and restaurants are going to open so it's a great place to come and charge and also shop and eat. Now that's all folks, if you are in the market for a sexy of your own, an S3, X or a Y, kindly consider using my referral code, the description of this video has details of the same. Now both of us will get 1500 kilometers of Tesla supercharger credits. Now my supercharger credits are tied to my hire car, the SR Plus Model 3, which I hire via ev.com.au x Canberra and I'm really humbled that many of you have used my code. And I'm also humbled that I was able to be a part of your special day because most of you have hired the car to surprise your significant other and I'm really humbled by that. Until I see you guys in another interesting video very soon, this is Nash from Tesla and Nagong signing off. Peace.